Uh, my name is Officer Mike Lopez, Media Relations Section, Los Angeles Police Department. What do we got down here at the uh, Blue Line Station over here at Grand Avenue, right across from LA Trade Just a little while ago, we had about a total of about 30 individuals that were blo uh, blocking the intersection just below us here on Washington. So we had a total of 30 of them that were cited and released. Mm -hmm. But now we have a total of approximately over 40 individuals here that are being detained for um, failing to disperse after an unlawful assembly was declared. Mm -hmm. And not only that, by them failing to disperse, they also blocked the intersect of correction, the, the train from, from the train from station. The train station and uh, the so we were able to get them off the train tracks and be able to train to continue going on. And so all these individuals are gonna be arrested today. All right, for block is there something for blocking the train? Is that a misdemeanor? No, no just because it was an unlawful uh, assembly. Declare, assembly and declared where they're all being uh, arrested for 409 PC from the penal code, but obviously due to the train being there, and they were also uh, going to be advised about that. Any indication that any of these people were carrying anything illegal, weapons, anything else like that? Nothing nothing like that was brought to our attention right now, but then again, once the officers do their their um, searching them and see if they have any other type of contraband or anything like that, obviously we'll take that into consideration. Where are these guys going to be taken down? Metropolitan Detention Center, from there they might be released? And obviously, as you can see right now, we have a, to uh, a couple of buses this year because we have a total of over 40 individuals that are going to be processed, uh, arrested and processed and booked and they'll be taken down to our jail facility. MDC basically? Uh, pretty much yes. Uh, we also may, might have other locations available for where they could do a processing and probably release from there. And at that point they'll basically they'll be cited in you know under 409 failure to disperse and then they don't have to post bail. It's a ticket and they're released. But it all depends upon what we, mm -hmm. we find out about each, in, each individual. Anybody injured in this crowd at all? No, not so, nothing like that whatsoever, but obviously like we have a lot of police presence out here due to the, the election. We are prepared for anything that might come up about, and uh, we we're able to respond right away. No use of force that, uh, that we had at any time on this. No, nothing like that whatsoever. Well, I have to roll back a little bit. The initial incident that happened out there at Staples Center, Captain Hurtado indicated to me that there were a number of people who were detained initially. They were seen to be gearing up. Antifa types, fire carrying fire extinguishers, other items that were distinctly prohibited from being as part of a uh, part of a peaceful protest. They've got the information on these guys, and it includes the fact that some of these people were from out of state. Is that being handed over to investigators right now to analyze what's going on with these people? Whatever incident happened before, yeah, Staples. and obviously at the Staples Center, obviously we're going to find out who those individuals are, and whatever process that the, the department needs to take, we'll take and find out who these individuals are. But we don't have that kind of incidents here mm -hmm. out there, uh, at this location right now. Obviously, everything is being controlled. It's a controlled environment. Sure. We have every individual here, over approximately 40 individuals that we have to process. Straight failure to disperse. That's that is it. correct. All right, guys. Anybody else?